Welcome to Milazis. We are here back in the garden. This is one of the last videos of the garden because we can now go out more than once a day to exercise. So I will make use of it and you will have some videos from Meadows around Oxford. So now from the garden, hello, I hope you are safe, you are healthy and let's start exercising. So you can start standing or you can sit down depending on what is better for you but what I need you to have is a straight spine. Good. Then we will place our hands into this position so your elbows are as high as your shoulders and you have fists just above your elbows and then we go slightly up and wide. Good. And down. So exhale, inhale. As you exhale, make sure that you engage your abs, that you engage the core. It's an active exhale. Good. And as you're moving your hands, as you're moving your arms, make sure that the shoulder blades are moving too. It's not just arms, it's also upper back exercise. So you inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. As you inhale, you push the air to the lower part of your ribcage, to the lower parts of your lungs. And as you exhale, you use your mouth and you engage the abs. Good, and you go slightly up and down, up and down. Good, so it's sort of rainbow what your elbows are doing. But make sure that your elbows remain all the time as high as your shoulders and you just go higher, which means you are not exercising anywhere near here. No, no, no. It's up here, <laughs> very inconvenient, very uncomfortable, but very efficient. <sighs> Exhale, inhale. Good job. So we'll do five of those, and then we will go without a break for the other move. So five, four, three, two, and last one. Good job. Now in this position, as you are, with exhale, you will just go down with those fists. So you go down, inhale up, and up. It's not really a competition how far down you can go. It's about staying upright, straight spine, shoulders back, while exercising. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. And make sure that as you move those arms, you are not really moving your lower back nor upper back, which means that you are not doing this and you are not going forward with your lower back as you go back up, okay? Inhale, exhale, inhale, and last five again, five, four, and no break, three, before we go to the other one, two, and last one. Good, we go back up, and then we go wide, and back, straight, bend, good. Inhale, exhale, sorry, exhale, inhale, the other way around. And push your shoulder blades down, nice. And keep those hands and arms as high as your shoulders. I know it hurts. It hurts like hell. It hurts me too. But let's finish this. Five, four, three, two, and last one. Good. Now we have break. Good. So roll the shoulders back, roll them forward. Good, and then we can stretch, stretch the shoulders a little bit. So again, you exhale deeply and you push, push, push. Nice, and now the other side. <sighs> exhale, push and stretch it nicely. All right, and now if you can, you just grab your hands behind your back and open the chest and you go up, okay? <sighs> exhale, in. Exhale, inhale. Good job. 
And again, try to keep use that exhale to stabilize your abs and not really bend your lower back, bend your spine in the lower back. So we are not going forward and back. We are nice and straight and we just go up with those hands. Good. Good job. All right. So again, with no break, we will do five more and then we will move to the other part. So five, four, three, two, last one, and then you go wide with those arms and back behind you. Wide and back. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good job. And again, make sure that your shoulder blades are moving. It's not just movement of your arms, it's the upper back is helping you. And as you exhale, you again, you make sure that the lower back remains nice and firm. Good. So five more, and then we will remain seated with our hands nice and wide. Okay. Five, four, three, two. And last one, and we will end in this position. We will move our palms up and we will go up above our head. So it's up and down, up and down. <sighs> exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. But as you go for this move, make sure that you press the shoulders down all the time. So your shoulders are not going to your ears. No, no, no. They remain down there, you push the shoulder blades down and you just move those arms. Good. <sighs> exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Also make sure that you keep those hands just in the line with your body, which means especially they're not going in front of you. It's not, you're not exercising in front of your body, but you're really going above your head and next to your shoulders. Good. <sighs> exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, and five, four, that is going to be break, three, two, and last one. Good job. Wow, that's intense. So roll the shoulders back, roll them forward. All right, and we can stretch it a little bit. Good job, good job. So last move, before we move to the waistline, we will still focus on the upper back and we will go for the eagle. So I need you to go either on your knees or you can really stand up. But what I need you to do is bend forward, place your arms nice and wide. And now this is crucial. Most of people, they place their elbows somewhere next to their body, okay? So you have your elbow somewhere here. No. I need your elbows to be next to your shoulders, really shoulders. It's not here, not here, not here, no. It's next to your shoulders. Check it, really. And then what I need is your shoulder blades coming together, lifting those arms. Your palms are facing in, fingers down, and then the shoulder blades. It's the shoulder blades what makes the move. It's not coming from the shoulders, but it's the shoulder blades coming together. Exhale. <sighs> inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. <sighs> if it's not really doing anything, check again. Do you have your elbows next to your shoulders? Really? And are you going up? You need to go straight up, not really back. But straight up. Good. Good job. And if you do what you are supposed to do, I bet that you feel it quite intensively already. So let's do 10, full 10 more. 10, 9, 
eight, you can do it, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Wow. Okay, I will feel my shoulders tomorrow, that's for sure. Okay, roll the shoulders back, roll them forward, stretch it out, and let's focus on the waistline, all right? So, we will sit down on the mat, we'll place our legs in front of us, your knees are bent, good, and then you will lean slightly backwards. What is really important is that your spine is still nice and straight. There is nothing like this, okay? Now it's really easy. But as soon as you straighten up, your head is nice and tall above your shoulders. Now it becomes already an exercise. Then you will place your hands in front of you. You keep your elbows really high in that sort of Russian dance. And we will go to the side, okay? So you go side, exhale. Side, exhale. Good job. All right. If you're advanced and you want more fun, you can lift those legs. I can't really do it on this surface. Yeah, I can. Do it. So, good job. So either this or this. I will go for the beginner's version to be honest. All right. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And keep that spine nice and straight. And as you exhale, you engage the abs. So it's really your waistline. What is bringing you back up? Good. And five, four, Three, two, and last one. No break again. Lift those hands and we go to the side and up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And keep that spine straight, head tall, good. If it's too easy, you can lean a little bit lower. If it's too difficult, you can sit a little bit taller, okay? But again, make sure that you exhale, engage those abs, and they will bring you back up. Good. And five, four, three, two and last one and we can go forward and we can relax for a second good job good job okay so muffin top won't wait so we need to continue focusing on your waistline all right so we will go to the side and we will just go up and down with the leg but make sure that the leg is nice and straight and also that your butt is not going, that the upper hip is not going backwards, okay? So you remain on the top of your hips, one hip just above another. Good job. And this is what we do. Okay. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. And again, as you exhale, you engage your core. So it will help you to squeeze this and lift that leg. Good. Five, four, three, two, and last one. Good, nice. Now, just as you are, you will go lower, so you will lay on your arm. You will place this other hand in front of you. If you're advanced, you can place it on your hip, and stabilize, I won't because I'm on a very uneven surface. So I will place my hand just in front of me. And then with exhale, you lift your legs and up. 
and then and again it is your waist it is your core what is helping you to lift those legs you don't need to go very high the lower leg shouldn't go higher than your upper hip okay so it's not an exercise in going like super high with those legs it's an exercise in remaining nice and stable while activating those legs and lifting them good job also try to keep your shoulders as free as possible they should be not relaxed but almost three two and last one good job good job so we will go a little bit higher again we will still stay on side and we will go to the side plank so we will start on the elbow yeah i said start which means it's gonna be two versions of it now if you're a beginner you will bend your knee this one is straight and you will just lift it okay if you're advanced you will straighten both of your legs all right and you will lift it so let's go <sighs> lift 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 reach towards the ceiling keep those shoulders one above another hips one above another and reach up and hold good exhale 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 five four three two and we can go down good job good job nice now if you are elbows are healthy you will do and if you're advanced you will do the following exercise if not just do the side plank again okay just as we did now but if you are advanced or intermediate if you're intermediate you can be on your knee you will lift yourself up and then you will reach underneath your body and back up all right just make sure that there is still a plank all right it's not this really but there is still a side plank all right and then if you are advanced we will do the same but with both legs straight i would ask you to reach down there for five times all right five times so let's lift it inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale and last two And last one. Good job. Good job. Well done. So we're ready on the other side. So let's start on the elbow. Both legs straight. And this one goes up. Up and down. Up and down. <sighs> Exhale. In. Exhale. In. Again, the checkpoint is your hip the upper hip which is not going backwards so it's not really opening that no you stay on your side with your elbow underneath your shoulder and you just lift it yeah. and lift and down lift and down five four three two and last one good job so we go down to the torpedo lay on your arm again place your hand either on your hip or on the surface in front of you inhale and then with exhale engage those abs and lift it good job All right. Exhale up, inhale down. Shoulders are free, neck is completely relaxed. And you exhale, you engage your core and your waist helps you to lift 
those legs. Good job. Let's go for five more. And then, yeah, the side plank. So five, four, three, two, and last one. Good job, good job. So now, on the elbow, make sure that you place the elbow just underneath your shoulder. Beginners, you bend your knee. Advanced, intermediate, both legs straight. Inhale, and we go up. Good job. All right, and hold it. Exhale, inhale. Hold, hold, hold. You can do it. I'm shaking. You can see that, right? I'm shaking a lot. So five, four, three, two, and down. Wow. This, this arm was really shaking a lot. Again, beginners, you just do the plank again. But if you can, join us for the ballerina twists, all right? So either with your knee bent or with both legs straight, we will go for five reaches underneath your body. All right, we exhale down, inhale back up. And again, as you exhale, engage that core so that you shape that waist, all right, in your rotation. So unlock the elbow, your wrist just underneath your shoulder, straight legs or this one is bent and then let's go up and reach up good up 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 and two more and last one and we can go down sit in this position Shake, 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 lose the pain, and that's it for today. So I hope you will feel your shoulders and you will feel your waistline tomorrow. Okay, subscribe, join me next time. Bye!